Well, welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to embark on building some two, as a matter of fact, not some, but two bedside lamps. We're going to use hickory wood for the body of it, and we're going to use uh, probably some walnut or some sort of darker wood for the base. Anyway, let's get started. Planning is all done. Now I'm going to get myself a fresh uh, reference edge. And the way I'm going to accomplish that is I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to take this off the wall. Uh, this is another little homemade sled that I use for milling an edge, getting me a straight reference edge. one down okay what you can see here is I'm actually putting these pieces of wood on the table saw I'm going to cut them down to their finished size As you've noticed, uh, some of this wood that I'm working with here has knots and some cracks and uh, uh, different imperfections. But one of the things that is so cool today is we have resin that we can utilize in some of our woodworking projects. And right here, what you're seeing is I'm actually taking few tools, some brushes, and some scrapers, and I'm going through each piece of wood that I have, and uh, where there is some loose debris or whatever, I'm just scraping those out, getting them ready for the um, resin pour. Okay, what I'm doing here is I've got these pieces of plastic. It's the same kind of stuff they use to make, you know, garage sale signs or for sale signs that you put out in your yard. This is just one of the blank ones, and I cut I cut it up to use it as a, um, a mold, if you will, for the resin. So I've got my hot glue gun out, and, and yep, I dropped it on the floor. I did that like a 50 times 
And then I glued these in place. This one here is actually going to be on the bottom of the board. And it's behind that knot that you saw earlier. It's a hollow knot. And uh, once it gets uh, glued down good, and I make sure that it uh, probably won't leak, then I can flip it back over and uh, pour the resin in, and it will sit right there. And you'll see that later on in the video how I pour the resin. Here I am showing you this Starbond Black uh, Medium Viscosity uh, CA glue. And uh, what I'm going to do with this glue here is I'm going to take it and use it for the um, cracks that I have in the wood. Uh, some of them are very fine, but uh, this glue just does a fantastic job. Also, that can of spray is an accelerator. So it's really good for taking um, an area like I'm putting here right now this is a little bit of a knot here and it's got some cavities in there you can't really see those cavities very well from the angle which I'm showing it to you now but uh, there's some cavities and what you do is you just pour some of the uh, the CA glue in there you spray it with that accelerator and it cures it instantly and that way you can actually uh, build up this area and uh, when you get finished you sand it back and it's just fantastic. It looks natural there. Okay, so you can see right here how that uh, you can do a nice buildup in an area that has a void. Now I'm going to mix this resin together, part A, part B. Uh, this resin has to be mixed one to one by volume. And I just dropped in a little bit of the sail blue, sailboat blue uh, ink dye. And uh, I actually went after making those knot holes translucent, but it um, didn't come out that way. And it's okay. They come out really pretty as they were. One thing about resin is you have to mix this stuff up well. You don't want to have any resin that's not um, mixed well. And even in the mixing, you want to scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, and just keep, uh, keep mixing until you've got done a, a sufficient job. Now here I am pouring the resin, and you'll see in just a moment, um, I'm using a heat gun to knock out the uh, bubbles that rise to the top. Since I can't put this in my pressure pot, we just simply use the heat to dissipate the bubbles. Okay, time to take off those molds.
All right, here we go. One of my favorite parts, and that's the sanding. Anyway, I didn't show you that, but I showed you just now the 120 grit, but I actually started off with a 60 grit right before that. And then we go 60, 120, and up through 400. And then I use the micro mesh pads on the resin portions. I'm going to be flying through this sanding. Two thousand years later. Okay, all done with the sanding. Now I'm going to apply a finish to each one of these just before I put them together. This should be a first coat. Anyway, this is the uh, water based polycrylic, and uh, I really like this stuff. All right, so we've gotten uh, this far, and uh, what you can see is this is going to be the front. I put these little these little runners here and uh, on here, and anyway, just to kind of cover up the joint and have the bottom. This is the bottoms, and uh, they're all sanded up. I put a nice little edge on here on the router and uh, these are the tops and I've got a little hole punched there I'm about to drill for the lamp hardware so anyway also one thing I did is I failed to show you this on, on, the, on the drill press but I drilled a two inch hole here on the back and then uh, and that's going to accept that little receptacle and a USB port two USB ports anyway those are on the back and then I'm going to have a drill a hole here for the cord to come out to be able to plug in so well hey there 
we are on the very last steps of getting these lamps put together. Anyway, um, I'm going to mark off the bottom where it's supposed to be and then uh, apply some wood glue and then let them sit for a while uh, and then uh, uh, they'll be complete. So we'll uh, give you some pictures here pretty soon of the finished product. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you really enjoyed it. This lamp turned out just beautiful. I'd just give anything if each and every one of you could see it, see them both in real life. Anyway, if you don't mind, I would sure appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and if you like this video, how about go ahead and click in the like button. And thank you again so much for tuning in.